Hello students, welcome to this video on marketing management. I am Thirtha Prasad K, Assistant Professor in Commerce, GFJC, Chennapatna. Welcome to this video on advertising under model number 2, marketing mix and legal aspects of marketing. Let us set the objectives of this class. In this class, we understand the concept of advertising, we understand role and importance of advertising, and we study pros and cons of advertising, that is plus points and minus points of advertising. Welcome to the class on personal selling and advertising. Personal selling is nothing but salesmanship. As you saw the picture in the introduction page, a person holding the bag was shaking hands with another person. So he looked like a salesman. He is convincing the other person and selling something. Okay. So salesmanship or personal selling and advertising. As you can see in the picture, the word advertising is mentioned and around that there are different media, television, radio, billboard which is outdoor advertisement, internet which is online advertisement, leaflet which we get in uh, uh, magazines and uh, newspapers. And here is magazine, newspaper, these are print media, okay. So we see ads on all these media. So these are mass media. These are mass media because they are the media meant for mass communication. These media communicate with large number of people at a time, okay. So there may be print media. They may be electronic media, okay. They may be social media. So we define advertising as a paid form of mass communication. A paid form of mass communication. For putting ads on newspapers, on TV, we have to pay, okay. You have to pay the fees and get it advertised. And there will be a sponsor for that advertisement. It may be a company or an individual or any organization. Okay. So it's a paid form of mass communication. Nowadays, advertising is playing a very important role in creating awareness and forming attitudes of people. So it creates interest, curiosity and awareness, okay, to learn more about a particular idea or a product. And it, in a macro concept, it stands for managerial function of an organization intending to send information to the other member of the society. So at an organizational level, we can see it as communication of information to members outside of the organization. So outside of the organizations mean stakeholders, customers, public, government authorities. Okay. So they are called stakeholders. Communication with members outside of the organization. Let us have a look at some of the features of advertising. Basically, advertising is a mass communication medium. So advertising is meant to communicate a particular piece of information on mass media with large number of people. Okay. 
at that time. It is a salesmanship in print. So usually advertisements are when uh, they appear on print media like newspapers and magazines. It is nothing but salesmanship in print. Each and every detail of the product is presented effectively in newspapers and magazines, right? With attractive pictures, graphics, everything is printed. So advertising is nothing but salesmanship in print, okay, in printed form. And it is a paid form of communication by an identified sponsor. Sponsor will be there who puts the ad on the mass media. So it's a paid form of communication. And it is non-personal communication. It's not a personal communication. It's non-personal communication. It's meant for all. It's not directed at a particular person or a particular segment of people. It's a non-personal communication meant to communicate with all. Okay. It stimulates sales. It's meant to stimulate sales. So advertisements are meant to create interest and curiosity in minds of people and motivate them to try the product or service. Okay. Thereby it stimulates sales. It increases sales. And it may be written or spoken. Written means, for example, uh, print media or online advertisements or it may be spoken like on radio or on TV, it may be spoken. Okay. Now we shall discuss the role of advertising or advantages or importance of advertising. So advertising has numerous advantages to different people like wholesalers or other middlemen, manufacturers, to the society, customers, okay, to the marketing company. So firstly, to the middlemen, it guarantees quick sales. When more and more ads are placed in mass media, people will become aware of the product or service and they will buy more. So it generates quick sales. It acts as a salesman. Advertisement is nothing but salesmanship in print. Okay. It expands the features of the uh, product or service in short form. It increases the prestige of the dealer. It increases the prestige of the dealer. So he is selling an advertised product. Okay. He is selling their product with good brand image. Well advertised product. Okay. So it increases the prestige of the dealer. It makes retail price maintenance possible. Retail price maintenance. I have to explain this a little bit. From the producer to the final consumer, a lot of middlemen are involved. Wholesalers, retailers, agents, brokers, all have to get a profit margin. Even after getting profit margin, they have something called retail price maintenance. So when it reaches the final consumer, there is a limit to that uh, uh, price which you call as maximum retail price, maximum retail price. By setting an MRP, you set a restriction to the maximum price to be paid by the final consumer. It is also called as retail price maintenance. Okay. So price at a retail level is maintained by all these middlemen so that there is not overburden on consumers. Okay. So they may have to pay the MRP only or even lesser at a discount. 
they may purchase the products at a discount but not more than mrp so they don't have to pay more than mrp this concept is called retail price maintenance it enables dealers to have a product information so advertisement provides all the product information product details in brochures okay in leaflets in advertisements demonstrations etc so dealers can have a product information to so manufacturers how it helps manufacturers it maintains the existing market and explores the new markets they can increase sales in the existing market which is called uh, market penetration it explores the new market this is market development okay and uh, it increases the demand for the product of course when more and more ads are placed on media it increases the demand it helps to build up or increase goodwill of the company a well advertised products a well advertised company will always have a goodwill it controls product price in advertisements uh, many times uh, the final price is already communicated with the public so they need not pay more than that okay after discount they mention the price they need not pay more than that so it controls the product price it helps to introduce a new product into the market suppose under the same brand under the same brand they want to introduce a new product so that is possible and it is very easy very simple with the help of advertising and here is the next slide continued to consumers how it helps consumers advertising ensures better quality products at reasonable price because there will be lot of competitors in every industry so they are all competing for market share they are all competing for sales so this helps this benefits consumers to get quality product at affordable price it provides product related information to the customers so he can make a purchase decision it helps the consumers to save time by providing information related to the availability of the product so advertising provides information on where the product is available okay so consumers can save time by using that information where the product product is available okay it helps consumers in intelligent buying or making informed decisions making informed decisions so they have all the information available through ads so they can make informed decisions or they can make intelligent buying how much to buy what to buy how much to spend okay how to get discounts coupons cashbacks okay so they can make intelligent buying how is it helpful to salesmen so it creates sorry it creates a colorful background for a salesman to begin his work so advertisement support salesmanship and salesmanship supports advertising both okay so advertising gives a background that helps salesman to sell the product or service so a well advertised product when sold by a salesman is normally accepted by the public it reduces the burden of his job yes of course he need not explain more about the brand and the company it's already well advertised it helps to develop self confidence and initiative among the salesmen okay so when he is getting more and more sales he can build his confidence and he can take some initiatives 
on his own as a salesman and how is it beneficial to the society it helps to uplift the standard of living of course the standard of living means when the people are enjoying quality products okay it raises their standard of living of course advertising helps people to raise their standard of living by consuming more and more products quality products at reasonable prices okay so they can enjoy higher standard of living it helps to generate gainful employment opportunities so like salesmen ad campaigners ad designers media persons so it generates numerous employment opportunities and it provides new horizons of knowledge so it improves knowledge some advertisements like on uh, uh, some ideas benefiting the society like family planning uh, you know population explosion traffic rules social services like that okay so it improves our level of knowledge now we shall see how personal selling is defined so we call personal selling as salesmanship also so personal selling is the art of convincing the customers to buy a particular product or service so under personal selling a salesman uses his skills or talent and experience to convince the customers to buy products or service so basically it is a method of communication it's a two way communication usually face to face contact between the salesman and the prospect and salesmanship is the ability to convert human needs into wants everybody has some needs and desires salesmen convert them into wants so that they are ready to buy the product we can also say salesmanship or personal selling is the process of contacting the prospective buyers personally and persuading them to buy the products it's the same thing so you can use any of these definitions for personal selling okay and in this picture you can see the steps of personal selling the first one is prospecting and qualifying you have to look for prospects okay a door to door salesman will go to every house okay enquiring about whether they are interested to buy the product or not if they are interested he will explain the features of the product okay he will give information so first step is prospecting searching for prospects and qualifying and pre approach he has to be ready with all the information and knowledge he has to be ready with all the answers for the questions that the consumer may ask and he has to approach the customer presentation and demonstration he has to give a demo of the product for example if he is uh, uh, selling some hand tools for example or cosmetics okay he has to give a demo a live demo and present the information on how the product works if any objections are raised by the customer he has to answer all those objections he has to ask for doubts okay and clear all the doubts then he has to close the sale that is closing and then he has to follow sales process doesn't end with closing the sale he has to follow up the customer for repetitive sales if the customer likes the product 
and wants to be loyal to the product will buy the same brand every time so that salesman's efforts is reduced he need not search for a new customer he has a permanent customer okay so these are the steps of personal selling so we can mention features of personal selling in some important points that is one of the important tools for increasing sales okay so personal selling is an important tool in increasing sales it's a two way communication usually face to face between the customer and the salesman it's a persuading process persuading means convincing tempting okay making someone curious forcing forcing positively i mean forcing okay persuading process to buy goods and services the objective is to protect the interest of both the seller and buyer both the seller should be benefited buyer should be benefited seller should get a profit buyer should get benefits from the product the essence of personal selling interpretation of the product and service features in terms of benefits and advantages the customer has to understand the benefits and advantages provided by the product or service that is the main intention let us have a look at some of the pros and cons i mean plus points and minus points or you can call it advantages and disadvantages of personal selling firstly advantages high customer attention when a sales person approaches a customer he gives more attention to the sales person because in advertisements there is no two way communication there is no interaction it is one way okay when he interacts with sales person he will open his mind he will raise all the objections he will ask for all the doubts okay so higher customer attention the interaction will be there message is customized so sales person will give all those information which are customized customized means as per the requirements of the customer but in advertisements is not possible it is standardized it gives only standard required information but in personal selling information is customized as per the requirements of the customer the sales person can give more information to the customer interactivity so social interaction will be there it adds to the personal selling and sales so interaction is there persuasive impact persuasion sorry persuasion impact so persuasion means increasing curiosity forcing so forcing positively or tempting customer to buy the product or service by telling about the offers discounts allowances etc he persuades customer potential for development of relationship he carries on relationship to the next level if the customer is satisfied with the product he will maintain a long term relationship with the customer he will follow up adaptable if sales person is properly trained he can adapt to any kind of customer customers may be of different types there are customers who get who are short tempered who are very curious who want to always raise objections and there may be some uh, serious customers who will buy each and everything okay so there are different types of customers so if sales persons are properly trained he is adaptable to each and every type of customer so sales person has opportunity to close the sale 
okay if he is knowledgeable and if he is experienced if he is skilled and talented he has opportunity to close the sale okay he can clear all the objections he can answer all the doubts of the customers and close the sale disadvantages are there high cost we have to pay salary to the sales person okay and also commission if he uh, sells more products or sells beyond a particular quantity we have to pay incentives so it in was high cost labor intensive so number of laborers are required laborers means sales persons okay but in case of advertisements it's not like that you can place advertisements on tv newspapers at once you can repeat it whenever required but sales persons are not like that you have to employ a number of sales persons to increase sales high cost expensive so it is the same point as high cost okay it can only reach a limited number of customers yes there is a limit to the number of customers that can be attended by one sales person right so the company has to employ more and more sales persons to approach customers so this again becomes expensive okay thank you students thank you for watching this video study well for the exams all the best